Hey, welcome back. Um, I'm going to start a new series. I've been working with this for a little while, running it through my head and how, what I want to do. I made this lift out bridge. Uh, it, it works fine, um, but it's kind of a pain and, and I do have some problems with it. So I want to rework this and I want to make this a hinged drop down bridge. And what I want is for this side, I want to hinge it on this side and then let it drop down and go right up underneath the layout here out of the way. Um, some of the issues I'm having with this, like I said, uh, it, it works fine. I have this plug here. When I plug it into the board, um, it powers the bridge and then it's all good. Uh, one of the problems is I don't have a break in the line over here. So when, when trains are coming through, they can literally just drive right off the thing if, if the lift out's not here. Uh, I don't like that. That's not a good idea. Um, the other thing is when I made this, uh, I, I, I had in mind certain things. See, it's, it's kind of a pain to get up and out all the time. But one of the issues I'm having is what I tried to do was take this and I extended the rails on the sides here past the edge of the edge of the uh, the bridge and and the thinking behind that was that when this is out there's no tracks here sticking out to catch on so that you can't break the tracks you can't catch it but in, in the process of doing that the opposite has happened I'm not breaking anything on the layout but these tracks here are getting caught and I'm ending up breaking these or, or, or you know bad things are happening so in the, the only way I can think to fix this is to redo it and and I think that's what we're going to do and we're going to I'm actually going to power it properly so that when the bridge goes down the rails will unpower like back to here back into this you know a couple a few inches back so that now when the bridge is down trains can't drive off um, and, and the only thing that makes this a little different than what I've seen on the internet is that this is going to be a fully scenic bridge. Uh, most of the ones I've seen are just a thin, narrow bridge. They don't have any scenery. And uh, it's just a working bridge, literally, that's all it is. Um, but I want to do something a little different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I want to cut the river into here with a small waterfall back here and then I want to do a swimming area over here that will tie into the rest of the layout back over here okay um, and this will be all scenic and trees the only thing I have to make sure of is that nothing is movable once it's on and in here I can flip it upside down nothing's gonna fall off but it'll all be here and then this waterfall and small lake area here will tie into the last videos, video series I did for redoing my river and it'll all go together and, and it'll be a continuous thing and it also ties the bridge into the scenery over here and it ties the bridge into the scenery over here and, and right over here is where I built this, the video series I did for the Sons of Anarchy set which is right here um, so it'll tie everything together nicely and it'll look good the uh, the way it's made is really very simple. Um, there's not a lot to it. We have three quarter plywood here. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. We have we have three quarter plywood here, and then this is uh, one by dimensional pine. It's probably one by five, one by six maybe, right here. And it's just I just made a box and screwed the plywood down onto it. And then, you know, like you saw from the other video, we added these cleats. These cleats are going to need to get removed on both sides. And then we're going to take and we're going to cut. I'm going to cut with a saw. i got to get my... I haven't decided whether I want to use the skill saw, circular saw, or a, or a jigsaw. But we're going to cut. I have to cut out this area right in here. And that's only going to be three quarters of an inch deep. But I th I'm thinking in my mind, I, I can't, I think it has to go deeper than that. Because I want to make a bridge that crosses this right here. 
and I don't think it's going to be deep enough to make a, a bridge here look right. So I think we'll have to go deeper, which means after we cut this, I'll have to add on underneath onto the sides here, and then we'll have to add another piece underneath to cover the whole thing up so that we can add the water to it, but we'll have to drop it down. So instead of being only three quarters down, maybe we'll do it so it's an inch down. And then we're going to put, I want to put a truss bridge across here. Okay, so I've removed all the wiring. I kind of brought you out here with me into my garage slash workshop. And this is where we're going to do all the cutting. But we've got a few things I've got to, we've got to figure out first. Alright, so first things first. First we have to figure out... I think I've, I've decided we're going to do one inch down, and if it ends up needing to be more, we can always add to it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to measure down an inch right here. Okay. I'm not too worried about making lines and marks all over it because this will need to get re-sanded and repainted and all of that. So that, that'll work out fine. Um, now, I'm not going to remove the rails because those are all wasted anyway. They're going to end up in the garbage. So we're going to leave those on there um, because I need, I need reference points when, when we get this all done as to where the tracks are going to line up to. So I'm going to leave those on there for right now. Um, so the next thing to do is I want to actually map out where I've got to cut. And I, I'm kind of liking, liking this whole thing here. I'm going to do it in red so that I know what I'm going to follow. I do like this, like this. Like that. We'll follow these red lines and then this will come straight down this way like that. And I'm going to cut it wide like this. Actually, you know what? Why don't we bring it out this way? We'll follow this one. And we'll follow this one. So we'll come out this way here. And we'll come out to, let's say here. Like this. Like this like that. We'll make it wider so that we can build in sort of a river bank, maybe a small beach area, something like that. It'll give us room to fool around because we have to fill up an inch worth of space in here and I want to put a, a, a swimming beach right in this area here. So we need room to be able to mess with that and get that put in. And then we're actually going to cut this back Just like it's here. And cut it across there. Like that. And we'll follow the red lines. And I think that'll be good. Okay, so what I've done is I went ahead and I drilled, drilled some small holes. I drilled holes here and here. These are the two endpoints, or four endpoints of where I'm gonna cut this out at. We're going to use a, the jigsaw here and I'm just going to cut through. So now you can kind of see what we've got going on here. Like that. Now what we have to do is we need a base to put underneath that. So we've got a cut like this, we've got a nice big hole. Now I want to build this down. This is only three quarters of an inch and I don't think it's a good enough space for a truss bridge. So I'm going to add on to this on the bottom side here another quarter of an inch and then we'll put a full base underneath that. Okay, so, all right, so what I have here now 
they've gotten some pieces of quarter inch. It's like um, balsa wood you get from the hobby store. I just happen to have some laying around. And I'm going to glue this down like this in strips. Okay. And then I happen to have some of this quarter inch plywood. And then this will go right over that like that. And then I'll, I'll cut another piece to fit in here. And we'll screw that down. And this will all be glued and screwed down. And then that will complete our riverbed. We should be good at that point. So let me get these glued up and uh, put in and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so there we are. Uh, the hole's all cut. It's all backfilled. This is what we've got. And then I went through also, because all of this needs to be sealed eventually with, with caulk, so when we pour the water, it doesn't leak back out. So I had to go in and backfill all the little gaps that were in here with more of the quarter inch plywood. Um, but this is all in. Okay, and we'll still need to, to caulk this up, but it's a lot less we'll need. But there we go. So now the next thing that has to be done, and I'll do that later, is because of the cleats when I when I built this thing, because of those cleats that are on the on the um, layout itself, I had to on the ends here. I had to the, the fascia goes further out. The cleats fit into this gap here. These are the pins on the cleats to keep this aligned all the time. We have to fill this. Um, I'm going to rip on my table saw here. I'm going to rip some 2x4 some to fill this out flush to the edge here. And I have to do it on both ends. On this end as well. Uh, and then once that's done, then we can look into actually attaching this to the layout once the cleats are off. So this is going to be the next step is to fill this in. And this will also make this a lot stronger. We'll glue it and screw it and it'll, it'll never come apart. You'll never have a problem. Uh, so for right now, that's all I got. That's, that's it. And we'll call it a day at this point because it's hot out here. <laughs> it's hot and, and I'm, 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 I about had enough for today. So there we go. That's the first part of it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and, and come back again. Bye.